Okay, now a lot of times whenever we want to scan a document and save it on the phone, we either use the third party applications or we use Samsung's own default camera application. We point the camera at the document that we want to scan. The viewfinder will show us an option a scan document and we tap on it to scan and save the document which gets saved in JPG format. That's what we generally do. Now to do the same, we've got another advanced option hidden inside your Samsung Galaxy phone or any other Android phone which you might not be aware of. So in this video, we are gonna take a look at that option to scan the documents which can do a better job than any third party applications or Samsung's own camera application. Before we go ahead and take a look at it, a sub and a like would be much appreciated. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video useful. Now here it is. Let's press and hold on the home screen. I'll tap on widgets. Now here we have got Google Drive. Yes, of course, you need to install Google Drive first, which is available by default on most Android phones. Uh, and you will also have all those associated widgets when you go to the widget menu. Now here, let me tap on Drive. I'll just scroll down. You can see we have got an option, Drive Scan. Let's press and hold on this and bring it onto the home screen. While adding it, it is going to ask you which folder you want all the scanned document to be saved. That would, of course, be saved inside the My Drive app instead of the gallery. So be wary of that. All those scans that you're going to do will get saved on Google Drive. Now let's check out how exactly this works. Here I have got a cover page which I want to scan. I will tap on this widget or this icon. The default camera app opens up. I'll point the camera at this document and I'll tap on the shutter button. Now let me tap on OK. As you can see here, it automatically adjusts the border without even having to do anything. At the bottom, we have got this plus button to add more scans. Then we have got this option for black and white color and color drawing. We have a button to change the orientation. And if you want to crop this, you can crop it right here. Then of course, we have got this back button on the left-hand side. On the top right, we have got this three-dot menu uh, where we have got a few more options. Uh, here we have image enhancement. Let me tap on this. It gives me uh, options to enhance the image, automatic black and white, color, color drawing, etc. And we've got paper size here. Depending on your requirement, you can select the paper size and the paper orientation. We've got image quality as well. If you want higher quality of image, you can select high. Let me go back. Now let me just save this image. Now this is uploaded to Google Drive. Now let me open Drive. As you can see, this has been saved automatically in PDF format, not in the JPG or any other format. It is saved in PDF format. Uh, most of us use the scanned document in PDF, so this gets automatically saved in PDF. So that is fantastic. If you want to save this to the gallery, you can tap on download. I know that the saving process and downloading process is an additional step that you need to take. However, scanning a document is much better and much easier using this particular widget. Now let's open Samsung's camera application and point the camera at this document. Now the problem here is sometimes the AI fails to recognize the document and it doesn't show up if it is in dark conditions. So once it recognizes, we have to tap on this T icon at the bottom. Then on the top, we have got scan option, which has to be selected. And then we need to adjust this border. Sometimes the the border adjustment is not properly done on the camera application. Then we save this, it gets saved to the gallery and the orientation is perfectly fine. This is how we do it. Now again, let me quickly show you how easily we can do this on my drive. I'll tap on this icon. I'll just tap on the shutter button and tap on OK. It's scanned, just tap on save. As simple as that. This will be useful for a lot of people, I'm sure. Go ahead and check it out and let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. That's all I want to share with you guys. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.